Oh yo, yeah, you lucky people. It's good on game here. Welcome back to Wizardry 8. Let's go get that bloody dark savant, shall we? What is it? I have got a member who I set the portal with. Or was it you? Does so yours take me to the middle? <coughs> no, what's up? We're good. <coughs> Sorry about that. Got nice to have someone coughing down the thingy. Rush to the base of the stairway. In your haste, you didn't notice the figure in the shadow ahead. And when you realize too late, it is the dark smart. I didn't realize too late, really. I know he was there. I saw him from that little gap down there. Quick, go get him. How perfect I shall seem before I ascend to my rightful place in the cosmic circle. I will be the you are domestic idiots to think that your destiny's new gods how unbearably foolish now instead I shall watch you die as Dominus dies oh yeah what's happening it it didn't no you, you that would have been the end of the game if I had to sound the bomb There'd have been a little cutscene in the credits. Well, don't let him walk away. We could just hit him now. Let Tarja have a go. We. Follow me. I know exactly where he's going. I just hope we get there in time. What was your name? Sasha or something, wasn't it? A really weird name for a big manly dragon thing. I remember that. Oh, I suppose so then. Yeah, I knew he was there because I saw him through there. Alright, let's jump into the cosmic circle then. Can't cast no magic back there. I believe you can in there. At least I hope you can in there. And you may recognise this from such games as Mario Kart. <laughs> this is what it feels like. Okay, it's like the born part of the rainbow. Me. The Dark Savant won't let us have anything without a fight. And this fight will be the mother of them all. Come on! Uh, there's apparently someone friendly there. Blue? Oh, pretty. It's a really. Stand back! You know the dark savant's in there? You hear me, savant! Okay. It's a really pretty place. That ain't. <laughs> That's mad. Alright, we can play a story down there. I just turned it up so we can enjoy Where it. Where are they? There are the cosmic lords. Right here. You know as well as I do, the new destiny brings with it new lords. It is time for the old to step aside. They have gone. You expect me to believe that, Ophelius? But they're gone? Where? It does not matter. It was time for them to go. It is time for you to go too. You got good voice, oh, Ophelia. Yes. Not until I have my revenge. Any of your days you didn't have soul shield on? Suffered to the instant death. Forge. It's our only hope. With its power, what has happened may be unwritten. Quickly. The old Blade Runner technique. If somebody's writing your destiny, get out of the book and change you it. Rush to the nearby alcove where the forge is kept. So I flew it. You saw that. Is the forge itself and a huge book containing the history of the universe. Whatever is written with this forge becomes real. By changing the book, we can destroy the Dark Savant. They don't have 900 health, I'll probably destroy him in Melee Combat. Burned into your mind's eye, you begin to page through the tome. At first you panic at the thought of ever locating the Savant's name in the endless sea of words. And then suddenly, you stop turning. You know instinctively you have found the right page. It reads, Pro 
population of banishment. For abuse of power and repeated infractions of our wishes, we, the Cosmic Lords, do hereby banish and expel. Who's that? It had to be done. I gave this world life, and they condemned me for arrogance. I created the three artifacts to give mankind a chance to join the gods. And they judged me a dangerous fool. And for daring to question the wishes of the other lords, I was cast out from the circle. Oh, twists. Plot twists. It's true, then. He is... He was... Fool Sang. Ah, oh, twist! I was exiled, sent down to live as a mortal. For a time, I remained my old self, kind, weak, devout. As time passed, I came to realize the Lords were at fault. They wanted to keep the wisdom of the universe in me. I wanted to share it. And so, I vowed to bring down the Cosmic Circle! I had lost my powers, but not my knowledge. And as for my mortal body... <laughs> it would surely fall prey to age and disease. A few adjustments Sorry were necessary. Sorry, Fung Zhang. Well, that's about what we prefer. Just realize I was covering your face up. The Dark Savant. Before I was exiled, I created hiding places for my artifacts and a key to unlock them. I entrusted this key to a guardian, a family of guardians, created especially for the purpose. He means me. My family had always been called the guardians of the key. We never really took it seriously, but then... I was forced to... Relieve the young woman of her eye. The key, contained in its genetic code, is the information needed to unlock the artifact's power. The power of the lords themselves. She was, of course, rather upset with me when I took it. That's an understatement. And to think we revered Fung Sang and all he stood for before he became this. I know. And now the time has come. Hand me the book and the forge, and you may join me as we create a new destiny. In one hand is the page that declares Fung Sang's eternal banishment from the cosmic circle. In your other, is the Cosmic Forge. What do you do? <coughs> Sounds like now you wish you were streaming. Then obviously I'd throw open the chat. Well, here's a plot hole for a start. This Fung Sang's essentially Vi's grandfather or great grandfather or something like that. Why did he not just explain to her, you know, that stuff rather than kidnapping her and keeping her hostage and torturing her and taking her eye and all that sort of shit? Why did he not just explain to her that he was her grandfather and you know they need a genetic code to get make him a god? I'm pretty sure she should have gone. All right. In one hand is the page that declares Fung Sang's eternal banishment from the Cosmic Circle. In the other is the Cosmic Forge. What do you do? I can join the Savant, which would obviously mean the Savant wins. I can write in the book, and I can tear out the page. I don't remember the difference between writing in the book and tearing out the page. Um. We're gonna write in the book. Yeah, we're writing in the book. You put the forge to the paper and begin to write. Before you can finish a single word, the savant rushes toward you. The donning of a new destiny begins in a long, shaky scrawl. As your hand, 
is not from the book. You'll never live to write a single line. Your story ends here. Come on, Iba. A great conflict awaits. Uh, yeah. Lost the mouse cursor then, panicked. Alright, obviously we need to element shield. Soul shield. Something He's gonna basically around. summon loads of friends. Bella, that's your name. I knew it was some, something weird for a woman. For a man. Plus he's not a man, plus he's just a really masculine sounding dragon. That's actually a woman. You don't know. Alright, that's soul shield. Very well. Fortunately, we do lose Vi, which means she's unequipped all her stuff, so she's really flimsy now. Well, I don't know if she can die in the fight. That might be interesting to find out. Well, I suppose since she'd been nice enough to summon him around us, or took a firestorm on us. It shall be so. If I can use magic in it, I really can't remember. I'm going to find out very quickly. Yeah. yeah. I know you can't use it just outside the temple, that's why I was confused. Draining cloud. I'm just gonna cycle through the debuffs. Okay. I can't remember what tearing out the page does. But why are you kicking? You've got your maze. Use your maze. Should have leveled five martial arts skill. Martial arts skill. Right. Um. Then we want. Yeah, let's play Chaos Dawn. I want to see if I can insert, um, make the Dark Savant Matt uh, feared. I'm pretty sure he's immune to everything, but no, he's immune to nothing apparently. Interesting. Interesting. Well, then we want um, Death Cloud? Yeah, sure. Let's put Death Cloud on him. Let's play Save and do a rank 2. Okay. Nothing can turn this battle bad faster than. Be killing my own party. Right, uh, I suppose nuclear blast for you. You can probably just attack now, say, but I don't know why I'm bothering to get you to do anything else. Well, I keep missing, but that's it's fine. We'll fix that in a second. In fact, we'll fix that right now with a bless and Superman combination. It's not also not called Vi. She is TJ. I am sorry, TJ. Keep calling you Vi, girl. What am I looking for? Oh, Superman. I'm confused then. Gotcha. So I can't remember her name, not in the spell. How are you guys? Oh, you're pretty weak. But my uh, clouds on the moment will probably more or less deal with you guys. At least she used the maze this time. Yeah, unfortunately, she gives me all her armor and equipment back. Leaves the party and fights like that. That might mean she can actually die, you know. Because she'll explode if she's outside of the party, wouldn't she? She won't just turn into a skeleton for me to resurrect. That game's for you. 19. You breathe poison, that's pretty cool. And you'll kill on your attack. And you are hasting and stuff, so. Fine, you're doing nothing. Go kill somebody else, girl. I know you got the best intent, but you're doing nothing. Oh, sorry, Dark Savant. I think you're fine at me just being deflected by my shield. Yeah, I seem to have some trouble hitting you as well, but we'll fix that. An acid bomb. Okay. Bless is done. Now we do Superman. Samurai. Is you to heal? No, that's not heal, that's haste. One of the one underneath that. <laughs> and then we should be able to go to town on the Dutch Savant. Obviously, we might as well use spells where we can. I know he's got eye for an eye on, so. What's their fire resistance like? It's probably not the best thing for me to use. Well, no, Divine would be the best thing for me to use. But yeah, that's not really something I've got very good damaging spells in, because it's not crap. You know, it's the healing class, um, but school of magic, it's not class. Mm. 
not sure what you're focusing on him. I'll wait for this turn because I've got people targeting spells and then I'll focus everyone on him. I think that's how many of the bosses are just the white hopes so you can't see their bloody health go down. You know, I'm pretty sure these planets here are probably from the other Wizardry games. This is probably a Easter egg rich area. Because why wouldn't you put it in like an Easter egg rich area? It just makes sense, doesn't it? Can you wait TB up, please? In fact, we're not going to need the mana. Rest all. Rest everyone. Um. Question. You know what? If you want to summon things tomorrow, we can both do that. Welcome back, TB. If it helps, I haven't got nothing I need you to do just yet. Taj is going to win this pretty much on her own. Perfect. I don't know if you can get an instant kill to but it'd be awesome, wouldn't it? I don't know, summon some more friends. Yeah, I know. I know it's that as he summoned them. I'm not going to change any of them, but yeah. Um. Let's drop a ring of fire. Just because there's a buff I got on. I want them not to attack. Tinkton, you must do something, mate. Um. So really, he's been really useful up to this point, and now I've got nothing I really need him to do. Drop a hex. Let's see if we can get hexes on him. Just stacking up buffs and debuffs. Oh, seriously, try using your mace or attack someone else. This is a, you know, a rather standard. If I had to pick anything with this fight, it would be. It's a rather standard end fight, and I. You sort of beat him up as he loses about half his health or summon more boys and more boys. It's, yeah, it's pretty default for a boss to summon minions to help him. I prefer something scary. But yeah, the game is rushed towards the end, right? I suppose it's better than nothing. I don't remember what happens if you tear the page out. Yeah, there's probably going to be a technical problem where this cuts off when the last cutscene kicks in. I will just find the cutscene in the files or on the YouTubes or whatever and then add it to the video. No, apparently can't hex him. It's off shot. <laughs> and then obviously the credits and so forth. Taken care of. Yeah, I don't really know why I'm trying to queue stuff up. I will win this if I just let him attack, which is probably what I should do. Yeah, no one else is doing much damage to him, but Taj is matching him up, so. 233, 55. So that's 122 damage he just did in three attacks. That was well cool because he did this little idle animation thing where he summons a ball of light in his hand and then looked like he threw it at him time with a crush. That's just his idle animation. If you watch him, he'll do that continuously. I oh, know that's because I left the game AFK in front of him. I left the game AFK in front of him before. How are you doing for Hellfire? Ideally, I want to keep you alive for the path of London. I've got a question for you. How did you get up this mountain? Oh yeah, you didn't have to do all yours, did you? I did that for you. Classic bad guy, aren't I? Let's me do all the hard work and then appears at the end and goes, You did all my work, I bet you feel stupid. You know, you have to because you can't progress the game without it. What well, should be an option, really, and in some games it would be. Far Cry 4 would be the best example of that. Well, you can literally skip the entire game just by not pushing any buttons at the beginning, which I think is awesome. 
obviously no one's going to do that. No one's going to pay 60 quid for it. Maybe when? Well, they might experience the end and get the achievement from completing the game and they go, I should probably go and do the rest of the game now. Because, you know, I sure as hell would after I'd paid loads of money for the game. But, um, it would have been good if I could just walk up to the door of Ascension Peak okay. and wait for him to turn up. Since he couldn't get in without the orbs that I had anyway, I could have just, you know, spent some time in Arnica and eventually he'd turn up and attack me. Technically, I never had to come here. Because there why I was, he's going to go up there. The portal that didn't open. And teleport the orbs in. Oh, he killed someone. Don't know who he hit, but he killed someone. Sixty-seven health. Just finish him off. We cast haste. It's gonna run out this time. I don't know if it reapplies the buff until it's run out, but we'll take the risk. Wow, that smile's dead. Everything's over. Someone take the pen off TJ. For it is said, if all your wishes are answered, many of your dreams may be destroyed. Very so wise, Saber. Start a whole new universe, huh? Well, now that's quite a responsibility. All I ask is that the new one have a good beat so you can dance to it. May the words scribed with this pen be written as if in gold to bring luster to our new world. Create a new universe? Very well. Just so long as it's as dark and deranged as the old one. Mm -hmm. By the gods. One moment. We are the gods now. Ta well, well, nice. Well, where is that pen? Very nice. And we got 7,387 experience. 73,800. Fucking hell. That's a weird experience. Yeah, 73,000. No, 738,795 experience points. And some skills. I can't do nothing. Just gotta wait. I gotta appreciate that they recorded unique voiceover endings for each voice, though. They're, depending on what voices you use, they all say something different at the end. The voice is essentially your personality, you know. They don't let you choose the pattern, but they do let you choose the voice. Wow, are we flying? I'm flying, you are man. Long last alone in the cosmic circle. At first, you aren't certain what Not to alone. do, but then you remember the forge and the book. You pick them up and begin to write. You think of the Higardi on Dominus below and write the savant's hideous tower out of existence. You think of the Trini, and write them back to flourishing life, without the eternal fear of Rapax invasion. For the Rapax, you find kindness and empathy where none existed before. And as for the Trang and Umpani, they decided their own fate. But you are not yet done. There are still so many loose ends you need to tie up. So many tasks for new cosmic lords. And so, without clear thought or intention, you begin to write. It is difficult at first, but soon it comes easier. You write of your home, your world, of good things, its beauty and frailty too. You write of adventures you have had, and of those yet to come. You write of your fears, and you write of your dreams. Soon, whole new galaxies and stars open up before you. Upon your planets, you write in people, all kinds of people, races of every color, shape, and size. A million years of evolution pass in minutes for you. Cities rise and entire civilizations take shape. You look down on all you have created and can't help but feeling that Fun Zhang, were he still alive, would be greatly pleased. That should attack me eventually. <coughs> we win, Doesn't naturally. I take damage for. 
I've completed one of the successful endings to Wizardry 8. With the Dark Savant dead, you carry on the vision of the original laws, continuing a beautiful, diverse, and peaceful universe. I think that's got to be the most positive ending, right? If you take the page out, does he turn back to Fum Zhang? Can't remember. Oh, there is no end in the cutscene. I thought that book thing was a cutscene. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully that will capture it nicely then. There's the credits for Sir Tech Canada. May they rest in peace. They made some damn good games. Well, they made this. This was a damn good game. I'm not really sure what else they made. I might have to look into that. Alright. Well, firstly, uh, well done to anyone that's made it all the way through all of these parts. You, you really are incredible human beings. Congratulations. I'm sure you're all gentlemen and scholars, or ladies and whatever the equivalent to scholar is. Scholars still, I think. Obviously, I've planned this ending and it's all going to go smoothly. I'm not just going to ramble. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's everything. Obviously, feel free to leave comments, like, subscribe, and so forth. If you wanna, um, I will be doing another playthrough, quite heavily modded. So, well, might be the first playthrough I do after I build my new PC. Might not be, because I'll have a big old variety of games, and I won't be flooding out videos like I did this time. It's like, it'll likely be like one or two a week, but they'll they'll come out at a steady rate. Because I want to edit them properly and stuff. You know, once I've got a decent enough PC to do all that stuff. Um, if you fancy leaving in the comments, you know, any suggestions for my party next time, or individual characters in the party, or you know, just what you want me to name them or whatever, feel free. I'll, I'll definitely enjoy doing that. I'll make it a lot funner, a lot more enjoyable. Funner, I don't believe, is a real word. Uh, Klaus? There's no point in you leaving a comment, mate, because I will be using your name next time anyway. I was going to make you a bishop, because, you know, you seem to know it all, so it'd be good to be a bishop who can literally learn it all. But I've already used bishops, so maybe not. But feel free, people, to leave me, um... You know, a list of a part you want to see, or so forth and so forth, or congratulations on completing the game, or, you know, if you feel special, or very hateful because for some reason you've watched all of these or you've skipped to the last one and you can hear me rabbit and then you won't have a go feel free to throw some hate at me you know it's the internet got to use it somewhere all right well this was a long old run people feels good does feel good now I've got to find someone else to play so until I come back to this I guess I'll see you soon stay lucky people goodbye